Over recent years, a movement has come to the fore that's affected life, especially in America, but also here in Britain and in many other parts of the world. The name of the movement, Black Lives Matter. On the backdrop of the death of George Floyd, which of course would be condemned, this movement has very much come to the fore. Black Lives Matter. But dear friend, I'm sure you'll know where I'm going with this, being a Christian, somebody who believes the Word of God, somebody who loves verses of Scripture like John 3 and verse 16, for God so loved the world. The reality is today that all lives matter. We are so divided now in this world of ours into different classes, creeds, and colors that we have lost sight of the great necessity of every single human being. The Word of God says that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. And then God formed man out of the dust of the ground, and God made man in his own image. Every single person born into this world, regardless of the nation that they're born into, regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of the religion that they're born into, regardless of the social standing that they have, every single one of us is made in the image of Almighty God. And not only that, but the old reformers said it well, that man's chief end is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. We were created by God and we were created for God. Therefore, all lives matter. God made us and created us and gave us life and brought us into this world for the supreme purpose of bringing honor and glory and praise to his name, walking with him, enjoying him, serving him, obeying him, uplifting him, exalting him, and worshiping him. And every human being has the potential to some degree or other to fulfill that glorious purpose. But the reality is as well, according to Romans 3, 23, all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. And again, it doesn't matter what color we are. It doesn't matter what creed we embrace. It doesn't matter what class we think we should belong to or what country we were born into. The reality is that every single one of us, though created in the image of God, for the glory of God, we have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. And that's why the Savior, whenever he was on this earth, just before he ascended into heaven, he said to his disciples, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. What is the gospel? The gospel is that Christ, the Son of God, the God-man, Christ, the Son of God, Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. And so many of the churches that we read about in the New Testament were cosmopolitan churches made up of Jewish believers, Gentile believers, old, young, rich, poor, bond and free. And all throughout Asia Minor, churches were established, made up of all sorts of people. I encourage you and challenge you to read 1 Corinthians chapter 6, to read about the sorts of individuals forgiven by God's grace, purchased by Christ's blood, renewed and regenerated by God's Spirit, the type of people that made up that particular church, all sorts of individuals from all sorts of backgrounds, some were idolaters, some were fornicators, some were drunkards, some were abusers of themselves with mankind, some were effeminate, all sorts of different individuals transformed by the grace of the gospel. And all of these truths, the fact that we're made in God's image, created for God's glory, the fact that all have sinned, the fact that the scripture says, for God so loved the world, the fact that the Son of God told his disciples to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature surely shows us the truth that all lives matter. You have got a soul within your body and that soul will live for all eternity in either God's heaven or God's hell and your life matters. Maybe you've made a whole mess of your life. Maybe you're in a situation today that you just feel worthless, you feel useless, you look at the world around you and other people maybe seem to be doing better, they have that appearance, and you perhaps feel that you don't really matter at all. Black lives matter, 
white lives matter regardless of our external appearance we're all the same by nature we need god in our lives and god is a god of love mercy grace truth righteousness and holiness and in the gospel for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life we discover that in god's sight all lives matter we all need a savior your life matters why not give your life to god turn from your sin call upon the lord believe the gospel that christ loved you gave himself for you and rose again for you and that if you trust him and turn from your sin he'll save you and you can realize just how much you matter in the sight of god the bible says the redemption of the soul is precious i trust that you'll realize that your life matters and if you're a believer in christ today that lives matter let's endeavor to reach the lost in these closing days of time let's give ourselves completely to him who gave himself for us god bless you see you next time